a quick guide for sentiment analysis in social media. Hello everyone, this is Augusto from Gozo again, and today we're gonna give you a quick guide on how to run a sentiment analysis in your social media accounts and some tools that you can use to improve the sentiment towards your brand, your business, and your persona. So imagine that your business just released a new service or product and you get everyone talking about it in social media. Facebook posts, Instagram mentions, tweets, you're everywhere and there's seemingly no end to the chatter. But are you really sure this is a good thing? Are the comments positive or negative? Uh, is there some sarcasm in there? So this is why sentiment analysis is so important for your social media campaigns. You want to check uh, the comments uh, that people are, and the mentions that people are making about you, and you want to analyze to discover how do they exactly feel about your brand and your uh, corporation. So you got everyone to talk about you, but you need more context to discover how they actually feel about your brand. And this is what a social media sentiment analysis is used for, to analyze the comments of your users and discover how they feel towards your brand and um, what do they think about your campaigns, for example. We're gonna go through five reasons why sentiment analysis is so important for your social media campaigns. Number one, understand your audience. After you discover how they feel about your brand, after reading their comments and categorizing them into negative, neutral, or positive, you will understand how they actually feel about your brands. Maybe there was a campaign that was a problem, maybe you're not giving them enough information, or maybe you're giving them too much information. Number two, improve your customer service and support and ensure that you provide the best experience by, after analyzing your customers' requests and comments, you will find out what they are actually asking and looking for. Number three, you can tweak your brand's message and product development. And from the sentiment analysis investigation, you can take two conclusions on how to improve your message and how to make sure that it influences people in the correct way. And second, tailor these messages to each of your targets or locations, which is really helpful if you are based in different uh, cities or countries. And there's a quite funny anecdote about this. A few years ago, Canada public transport system included Seth Rogens, the actor Seth Rogens' voice, in the announcements that they release in the, in the subway. And after analyzing a huge wave of tweets that came uh, the days after, they discovered that while in Vancouver, people actually loved to hearing him from 8 a.m., while in other cities, he didn't actually get the desired effect, so they decided to remove it. This is why it's so helpful to really understand what people are saying about you. They may be tweeting all day long about you, but you want to really analyze each comment and to find what customers have to say about it. Number four, understand where exactly you stand in your niche. By investigating what people say about you in social media, you can find if you are aiming to the right audience, where do you stand in front of your competitors, and also to discover where your strengths and weak points are. And by the conclusions that you can take from this investigation, you can decide whether if you need to improve uh, some of your failures, or if you want, on the other hand, to highlight your strengths. Number five, spot brand crisis in the early stages. If you really pay attention to what people have to say about you in social media, you may be able to discover your problem before it even starts and to run your crisis management plan on time. And now, how to conduct a social media sentiment analysis? Number one, you want to collect data. You want to go through their mentions, monitor uh, the comments you have uh, on your accounts or in related accounts. And here you want to be really, really careful because sometimes they won't always tag you directly or your brand. Sometimes you will need to go deeper and to start searching by keywords or relevant searches, hashtags, to find out that people may be talking about you without even saying your name. Number two, now you analyze. You look into these comments and you divide them into negative, positive, or neutral. 
you want to put them in context and to really analyze them. And yes, you will find a lot of sarcasm here. Number three, put all this data into a report. And here you want to put them into categories like negative, positive, neutral comments, percentages of sentiments beyond the comments, a graph over time to see the evolution of um, people's reaction to your campaigns and the total amount of uh, reactions or comments. We share with you below five social media sentiment analysis tools that you can use to improve your campaigns. These are paid, but they, are, they automatically give you reports and they allow you to process the data faster and more accurately. So just press and discover maybe if you have a really big campaign, it's worth it. So here in this video, we learn how to improve your social media sentiment towards your brand after running this analysis. So the conclusions we may get from today. One, you want to learn from your audience. You want to listen to them uh, to discover what they actually say behind a comment. Number two, you want to be both proactive and reactive. And this means that sometimes you will need to take the lead, but other times you will just need to wait what people have to say about you and to work from there. And finally, number three, play to your strengths. Try to provide value to your audience, but also remain true to your brand's identity. If this video was helpful for you, please give us your like, subscribe to our channel to stay tuned and visit gozo.io in case you have any questions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.